Well, hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you can't tell by the title of this video already, we are gonna be doing a pen slash marker test of some of the new Erin Condren products. I wanna start off this video by saying thank you to the Erin Condren team for sending me all of this fabulous stuff to test out. I am gonna be using Erin Condren paper. This is something that I think they still have in stock, but I thought I got an email saying that they were gonna be like discontinuing this pretty soon. Um, I don't know, I like these little paper pads, and you can, you know, they're like three hole punched. At the top, there's actually a like adhesive thing. I don't know, you guys can't see that. Okay, whatever. But I like their paper, this is the dot grid. So we're just gonna use this and um, test out all of these fabulous new markers. Let me get the pricing for you guys because there are a couple of these that come in a set. If you want them in a set, there's a little bit of cost savings there. So let me pull up the prices real quick. So. You get six in each of these little packs here, and the six packs are $15 a piece if you wanna buy them individually. And then you can also get, it's just these three, um, you can get these three. Normally they're a $45 value altogether, but it's $36 if you would like all three in a set versus paying 15 each. You can buy these separately if you'd like for the $15 price as well. I also ended up getting these. These are the designer metallic markers, and these retail for $8 a piece. So there's the gold and the silver, so I'll test those out for you as well. I believe the gold, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was the gold one, came in one of the seasonal surprise boxes a while back. Also, speaking of seasonal surprise boxes, um, this is a mechanical pencil, and I wanna say that this came in a seasonal surprise box as well, and this retails for $8. The only color that they currently have is this one. I'm not sure what color it is. I am assuming it's just, you know, like a, I don't know, teal, whatever. I'm bad at colors, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I also got some of these. These are the designer gel pens, and these are the brights, classics, and neons. The neons retail for $6, and the five pack of pens are $10 each. However, if you want to buy all of them, they do come in a bundle currently at $21. It's a $26 value, so you get $5 in savings if you wanna get all of them. So anyway, we're gonna test these out as well. I haven't taken anything out of the pack packaging. I haven't played with any of these yet. Other people in my life have played with some, but I haven't played with any of these. So I am going to do the gel pens at the very end because I'm very excited about these markers, y'all. So I am going to start with the first set, which is going to be Earth. And let's open this up. I'm probably going to fast forward to, through some of this because or else this video is going to be like an hour long. <laughs> And then in here, we have the set that includes garnet, wine, pine, sapphire, chocolate, and black. And then I will write some of these out for you guys so you can see. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay. All right. I'm gonna try to keep them in order. So, like I said, I'm bad with colors, y'all. And then um, these do have two different tips. I'm a fan of the medium tip, but I know a lot of people like the fine tip as well. So this is the fine tip. I don't know if it's focusing properly. It's hard to tell on the viewfinder, but it's the fine tip. And then the medium tip looks like that. Um, the medium tip just reminds me of the Papermate flares, but like, thicker, so I don't know. If you like paper mate flares, I feel like the fine point and the medium point is like right in the middle of a paper mate flare, if that makes any sense. But anyways, um, let's get to writing.
So I've written with every single dual tip marker now, and I just wanna go over which ones are my favorites because, you know, why not, right? And the channel's called Favorite Daughter Emily, so like, let's do it. So in the earth category, we've got garnet, wine, pine, sapphire, chocolate, and black. And I gotta say, out of all of these, I really like the garnet, I really like the sapphire. Um, you know, black is black, that's, you know, it's a great staple to have, but um, yeah, I really like uh, the garnet and the wine for sure. In the tropics, I really, really like, uh, well, it, there are some duplicates, as you can see, um, garnet, wine, Wine, so then these two are clearly in there. Um, salmon, chartreuse, emerald, and turquoise. I really, really, really like the emerald in the tropics. I think that's a really, really great, you know, kind of grass green. I don't know, I really like green. So yeah, and then in the sunrise collection, you've got fuchsia, light pink, salmon, which is also, you know, there. Dark orange, nectarine, and peach. And I gotta say dark orange, is very satisfying to write with for some reason. I really, really like it. Um, and I just like the way it comes up. I don't know, it just like, it's very, very vibrant and I really like it. I kinda wasn't expecting that. As for the next one down, this is the ocean. We've got cornflower, sapphire, which is also up here. We've got navy, uh, turquoise, mermaid, and teal. I really like the teal and I really like the cornflower. Obviously I like sapphire, but that was up here. Um, but yeah, that's in the ocean collection. And then in the twilight, which is kind of the purpley color, You've got purple, wine, amethyst, lavender, lilac, and orchid. And I gotta say, lavender, uh, not lavender, I'm sorry, amethyst was probably my favorite one. I don't know, I just kind of like gravitate towards those dark colors. I don't know. And as I was writing with these, since some of these are so, like, you don't necessarily know which color it is, like, clearly between these two, like, I wouldn't necessarily know unless I did my own pen test that, um, this one is mermaid and this one is teal. I kind of wish that they would have put like somewhere, maybe like underneath the Erin Condren logo, like mermaid, you know? So like you would know what you have um, because I probably will not be storing them in these just because I've got a problem and I have so many of these that I normally wouldn't put them back in their exact container, but um, I just wish that they would have had, you know, the names on them. That would have been kind of nice. But all in all, I absolutely love these. So let's move on to the gel pens and the other metallic markers and all that good stuff. So let's move it along. All right, and now we are on to the designer gel pens. We've got the Brights, Classics, and Neons. I have not tested any of these at all. Haven't even opened them up until now. I heard that these take just a moment to like get the gel rolling, basically. So, oh, oh here we go, cool. Um, I am going to, I have like a little, one of these little things, so I'm gonna just play with this <laughs> real quick and just see how that works. I just wanna like get it going so it's not gonna like skip or anything. Oh, no, this actually like works pretty slick. All right, cool. All right, so cue the fast forwardness and I'll be back in a moment. All right, so here are all of the gel pens. So the classic included red, jade, navy, purple, and black. And yeah, I actually like all of those quite a bit, which, I don't know, you know, the jade is kind of a cool color. I like the navy. I don't know if I'd use purple too often, but you know, it's kind of nice to have it. So those are in the classic. Unfortunately, the brights, um, I liked all of them, but, my turquoise, I think it's turquoise. Let me take a look, yeah. 
doesn't work at all. I tried so much to get this ink flowing and it never did anything. So, um, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if this is just a fluke. Hopefully it is, but it's just one of those things. Unfortunately it didn't work, but that's all right. Um, and then the neons, which are probably my favorite like nib, if you will. Um, it's just a little bit thicker and I do like a wider tip on my markers. And then also I like a wider tip on my pens as well. So I really, really liked these. Um, we have the neon pink, neon orange, and neon yellow, and I love all of them. So they're just kind of fun. Um, it kind of reminds me of, do you guys remember like Lisa Frank, like back in the day? Trapper keepers, anyone? Yeah, kind of reminds me of that. So anyway, um, yeah, so I do like these, but the neons are probably my faves. And then let's move along to these guys right here. I might just talk through these since this is not like a long situation. These are the designer metallic markers and we have the gold and the platinum. So let's pull these guys out. And if you kinda look at it this way, let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. So that's what the nib looks like and it's just like a retractable thing. So let's test these guys out. That's so cool. I like that. It's like a, it almost is like a paint pen in a way. All right, and so then we have the platinum. Yeah, I like this as well. This would be cool for like, I don't know, if you do like stamping or cards or something, I think this would be cool. This would be really cool to have different metallic colors, I think. You know, it might not be something that you might wanna use on like a planner on a daily basis just because it's so incredibly thick, but you know. That's just me, but I do really like these. I think this is like a really cool, cool idea. And then we have this, the pencil it in, the uh, strong lead, smooth writing, refillable. Um, let's see here, oh, let's see, can we get it open? Oh, I'm on the struggle bus, okay. Whoa. All right, and it is a 0.5 millimeter. Um, as you guys know, I like it a little bit wider, but you know, and honestly, I don't really write with pencils very often, like even at work, everything's done basically on the computer. So I just don't, you know, write with these a lot, but I can see like if you're in school or if you, you know, work in a place that, you know, you might need to erase something. And I think, yeah, this comes with an eraser too. So it's like right on the top there. Kind of cool. All right. So and then we'll just write pencil. I never like how my handwriting looks in pencil. I don't know, do you guys feel the same way about my handwriting? <laughs> All right, so that is it for my pen and marker test from Erin Condren, their new products. I will leave a link below for you guys if you are interested in checking out all of their products. But yeah, I really, really like this. Um, you know, just a little sad and disappointed that my turquoise didn't work here, but I'm hoping that that was just a fluke thing. But I gotta say, I really, really love these markers so, so much. Um, I'm glad that I could do a pen test for you guys too so you could see all the ones that had duplicates. So if you were deciding between certain ones that you knew that there were some duplicates in each of these sets. But love, love, love these so, so much. And also, I'm really loving these. So this is, I think these are really cool. And Aaron, if you're watching, make these in other colors. They'd be cool to have it in like a turquoise and maybe like a pink or I don't know, any other metallics. I think this would be really cool. So yeah, that is it for the pen test review. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to subscribe. And if you're so inclined, hit the little red bell notification that'll send you an email when I upload. I don't have a normal uploading schedule, but I'm always around. And if you guys wanna follow me on my other social media, the links are always below for you guys. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> yeah.